Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations. So today we are going to create this pixelated retro look in After Effects. You can use it on video or image, whatever you want. This is very easy to create and looks very professional. All this using only After Effects. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as you can see that I've already imported a couple of footages. So one is this Batman and the other one is this video. Now it's completely up to you. You can use whatever footage you want. Just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So before we begin, this tutorial was inspired by Texture Labs. So he created the same look in Photoshop and I just recreated that in After Effects. So all the credit goes to him. So now let's begin. So first we are going to create a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080. And frame rate you can pick whatever you want, duration whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition and let's call this media or a set. And rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our pattern. Let's create a new composition. Let's call this pattern. And on this one we are going to set the width and height both to 100 by 100. And we have the square composition in which we will define our pattern. So first let's go inside the assets comp and I'm going to quickly track my footage so you can pick whatever you want. I'm using this Batman. So let me just quickly scale this down and let's place it somewhere around here. Perfect. Now we can go inside the pattern comp and let's create some patterns over here. So first make sure you are inside the comp and let's double click on the rectangle tool so that it will create a perfect rectangle. Now we can change the stroke to zero. Let's select this. Now I'm going to search for size. Let's uncheck both of these parameters and we are going to make this 20 pixel and the height I'm going to set this to 80. Now we can select this and let's make sure that it's in the center. So you can use the align panel. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. After that, let's select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and let's select the top copy and I'm going to fix it to the left side. Again, let's select this, press Ctrl D and I'm going to fix this to the right side, something like this. Now we can select the left copy and hold down the shift key and I'm going to press the arrow key to move it something like this and maybe once more and let's do the same thing with this one just like this. So once we're done with this, we are ready to add some colors. So I'm going to select the first one and let's click on fill and make sure the hue and saturation both are set to zero and brightness, we can set this to 35. Now let's select the middle one. And on this one, we are going to set this to 70 and let's select the last one. And over here, we are going to set this to 20 and just click on OK. So once you're done with this, we are ready to add a black solid at the back. So you can just right click new solid and just make sure that it's completely black. Just click on OK. And I'm going to just place it at the very bottom, something like this. So now let's go back to the main comp and I'm going to quickly drag my footage and let's drag the pattern on top of it, something like this. Now you can use this and Using the align panel, we can align it at the top left corner, something like this. Also, we can zoom in and I'm going to quickly use the move anchor tool and hold down the control key or command key on Mac. You can just move the anchor point at the very top, something like this. So once you're done with this, we are ready to add some effects to our footage. So the first one is we can select the assets and let's apply hue and saturation because we don't want any kind of colors into this. So I'm going to just set the master hue to negative 100 so that we have this really nice black and white color. Now also let's search for mosaic. So let's drag this over here. So you can see that right away it creates a pixelated sort of look. Now it's completely up to you. You can just set this value to whatever you want. But for this example, I'm going to set this really high, something like 1000 by 1000. And you can play around with this later on. So once you're done with this, we can also apply levels. So let's drag it over here. And that's it. You are done with this. Now we can select the pattern and we can start applying effect onto this. So first I'm going to apply CC repeat tile and let's drag it over here. Now I'm going to just simply expand it. So just increase it so that it completely 
occupies the whole screen. So let's expand the down something like this. Now, once you are done with this, you can select and change the mode. So if you're not able to see the mode option, you can click over here. And after that, I'm going to set the mode to hard mix. So right away, you can see that we are getting this really interesting look and you can play around with this by simply selecting this and let's press S for scale. Now you can scale this down to quite a bit. So I'm going to set this to something like 30 or 40. Let's set this to 30. Now you can select the reptile and let's expand it. So I'm going to expand it on the right side and let's do the same thing on the left side as well. Something like this. So now you can see the blocks are really small and we are able to see our shape. Now you can tweak this further by going to the assets and from here you can play around with the levels to get more details out from this image and you can just play around with the input and output however you want. For example, if you want some bright areas, then you can move this to the left side. And in the same way, you can play around with this to get your look something like this. Now, the best thing about this technique is that you can control this by simply going inside the pattern and you can have different sort of patterns and all these will appear over here. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go inside this and we can create an adjustment layer and let's apply Gaussian blur on top of this. After that, let's increase the blurriness amount and I'm going to set this to something like 10. Now we can select the pen tool and I'm going to draw some horizontal lines. So just click anywhere you want and hold down the shift key. Just click somewhere around here. After that, you can increase the stroke and let's place it below our adjustment layer. So now you can increase the stroke so that we have these small gaps between these shapes. Now let me just quickly select this, press Ctrl D and I'm going to move this down. Again, press Ctrl D and let's move it over here. So now you can see we have this square kind of pattern, which is a little bit blurry. And if I go back here, you can see we have changed the look of our scene and we can again go inside the pattern and we can play around with this however we want and we can have more control over our look, something like this. So once you are happy with your look, you can add some colors to this. So in order to do that, we can select both of these layers and let's right click and pre-compose. And I'm going to call this look. Just click on OK. And on top of this, we are going to apply a couple of effects. So the first one is glow. Let's drag it over here. And the second one is tritone. Let's drag it on top of this as well. Now we can add some colors by using the tritone. So let's go under the midtones and I'm going to pick this really nice green color. Let's go back to the highlights and let's pick a green color and I'm going to make this little bit white, something like this. So once you're done with this, we are ready to play with the glow. So let's select the glow and I'm going to zoom in so that we are able to see what we are doing. And first I'm going to set the amount to something like four and the intensity to something like 0.2. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And let's increase the amount a little bit. And this to something like 0.4. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D once again. And on the third one, let's increase the amount of radius and let's decrease the intensity to something like 0.1. So right away, you can see we have this really nice glowy look. And you can play around with these glow intensities however you want. So this is before and this is after. So yeah, I think this is looking nice. And again, we can go inside the looks and we can play around with the levels to see what details we want in this example. And if you want bright areas, then you can just move this over to the side, something like this. So there you go. Now you can see we have this really nice pixelated sort of look. But for this one, let's set this to something like this. Now you can completely change the look of your scene by simply choosing different patterns. So let me show you what I mean. So over here, you can see that I have this 01 pattern. And if I go back to the main comp, you can see that we have changed the look of our scene. And now the 01 pattern is visible over here. And you can play around with the look of it by simply going inside the looks comp. 
and now you can play around with the scale if you want to have bigger chunks of these characters something like this and here you can see now we have the 01 pattern and in the same way you can see we have this sort of Chinese characters and let me just quickly hide all of these layers so now if I go back and let me just quickly play around with the levels and we can probably scale this down so here you can see we have some Chinese or Japanese characters over here so you can get some metric sort of look something like this so you can see that how powerful this technique is you can control everything by simply changing the patterns and you can get different results now the best thing is that this works with videos as well so over here we have this stock video footage and let me just quickly drag it over here and if i go back here you can see we have the video footage now if i play back here you can see that the video is playing now you can tweak this by simply going inside and you can just play around with the values because all the clips are different so let me just quickly do this and let's make the pattern a lot smaller something like this and there you go so if i play back here you can see we have created this very unique sort of look and all this using just simple effects now you can play around with the mosaic effect if you want more pixelated sort of look for example i can just simply set this to 100 by 100 so now you can see we have more pixelated look something like this now if this is something that you want then you can play around with these settings and this is how you can create these kind of looks all this using only after effects so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one